Hello, my name's Nigel Yule, Senior Director of Product Marketing for Enterprise Performance Management at Oracle. I'm here joined by my colleague Mark Seward, who's Senior Director for Product Management for Oracle. And we're talking about profitability and cost management, and you know, there's a whole bunch of things people do. What are the sort of use cases you're seeing for profitability and cost management, Mark? Profitability and cost uh, kind of analysis takes place in a lot of different parts of the enterprise, uh, right. and depending on the industry. But you know, uh, one of the use cases, for example, is just simply looking at profitability across the different elements of your business and that could be profitability across product lines profitability across uh, customer channels or uh, customers or channels uh, profitability across really any financial element that's going to help you better manage your business right. um, other areas are uh, e even in management reporting for example uh, whether you're looking at your plans uh, whether you're looking at your monthly or quarterly or annual close process uh, oftentimes uh, uh, management teams need to process allocations as a part of the close or as a part of the planning, you know, allocating out to different uh, business lines. So that's another area. And then uh, finally uh, is uh, kind of the concept of shared services, you know, particularly larger companies that might have shared services organizations. You know, th those folks need to do uh, um, allocations and have a better understanding of, of costs and transparency and things of that nature. So it's really all about how do we get the cost down to that granular level of you know, a customer, a shared service, that are providing a shared service to a particular customer or whatever it happens to be. So we're really breaking down those costs. So with our profitability cost management cloud service, what are we bringing to the table? What is it that we're doing that really helps customers and makes the difference from what they're doing today? A couple of points. The two major points I would bring out on this is, number one, it's a purpose-built solution, and it's designed to be owned by the business. Right. So you're not relying on an IT organization or a very technical person to be making basic changes or building new models. This is designed to be something that a business person can own. And again, when you're thinking about the kind of trans transparency you're looking for for costs or profitability, yeah, businesses need to take a you know take ownership of that. Right. You know, should I allocate based on uh, square footage? Should I allocate based on revenue? Should I allocate on headcount? You know, the, and you want to see what the different uh, versions of these allocations might right. look like. And with absent of having business ownership, you know, that can be very difficult to do. Um, second area I, I would say that I think really is important is transparency. Okay. So, uh, you know, particularly in things like shared services where a significant amount of uh, allocations are going to be allocated out or dollars are going to be allocated out to bi uh, different lines of businesses, they want to have some transparency around how these al allocations are being are, are hitting their P&L. Absolutely. You know, it's very, uh, very uh, touchy topic for some of these people. And having the transparency of understanding how things are allocated step by step uh, is very important to uh, not just the business, but the people who also are impacted by the business decisions. Yeah, we've all seen those arguments, particularly shared services services about well why do I get this cost you know why does exactly. he get that cost exactly. yeah okay so Mark so so really you know that trans giving transparency uh, being able to see what the allocations are and, and, and really working through those and the business managing those is, is one of the key really absolutely. the key thing we do absolutely Mark thank you very much for sharing all that with us you know hopefully we'll get back together again and talk a bit more later always good talking to you Nigel thank you and thank you for joining us